This particular section is the assembly of the Mia Tough landing gear. Basically, uh, remove these little retainers here, and so you have all the parts loose. And what you have to do is basically just take these parts, these are snap on parts, press fit, and you have to press fit the G10 skids onto these tubular struts. And what I find helpful is that if you twist this gently into the socket or that boom support, it goes in very, very easy. Now I like to do this one skid at a time. I repeat the same process at the front. And make sure that these parts are seated all the way. Let's see if we can capture that here, all the way to the base of the skid, which is where this the skid starts to curve here, these little curved sections here. Repeat the same process with the uh, other side of the skid or the other skid and that completes the landing gear. Now make sure this is square. You can adjust this and, and uh, tweak this a little further so that the part sits flat and flush against the uh, a flat surface. Make sure you're working with a flat surface and that's your landing gear. It's a Mia Tough landing gear which has got a quite a number of benefits here. The reason why we're using these particular parts and landing gear also for the MCPX helicopter. Okay, the installation of the landing gear struts to the uh, landing gear support is in very uh, similar ways to the way we've done our other Mia Tough landing gear kits. Basically you're gonna need a conical or uh, a small uh, pliers such as this one. I'm using a conical one but you can use one that has the flat tips as long as it's small. You don't want to use a plier that's too wide because it won't work. And what you need to do is align the struts where they're going to be snapped fitted into these little C sections here. I call these the C sections here. And what you're going to need to do is align the struts with these perforations here on the side of the uh, landing gear supports. And you're going to squeeze the strut. You're going to squeeze, in other words, to make an indentation so that that part goes in easy. You do not want to force this. If you force this without squeezing the material, you're going to risk breaking these parts. This is G10. G10 is pretty strong but it can break if you stress the, the, the material and you don't want to do that. And that's the purpose of squeezing the material here, these tubular struts before you insert them. Once you squeeze them, they go in real easy. See how that went in? Real easy. Now once it, it's in place, what you want to do is you want to grab the same pliers and squeeze at 90 degrees or in line with, with this plate. So to flatten it out, and to uh, make sure that that sits for good on the uh, strut supports. You repeat the same process for the rear one. You align it, visually align that. Grab the uh, plastic where you want to insert it into the slot. Press and push. Now that snap, you, you don't want to snap it because that you know you risk breaking the part if you do that. You want to squeeze it, squeeze the plastic once again and uh, if you need to squeeze it on the, on the other side as well, just a little bit, you can do that and make sure that, that once that gets squeezed, you push it in gently. So that, that's how that part gets uh, installed. And normally once this is, this is set and you've done what I'm doing here, you kind of spread the material into that round hole. Uh, these struts sit pretty tight on the uh, on the G10 uh, uh, brackets, you don't need to glue that. But if you feel you need to glue it, you can glue it. We leave that optional uh, for the user. So that's how that landing gear should look. Notice the angle here. Notice the slot underneath. And uh, the next step will be to install this to the uh, MCPX helicopter very simple very easy you take your time you should end up with 
similar professional results. We'll do the installation to the MCPX frame and boom next. Okay, for the installation of the landing gear assembly boom support to the MCPX, you're going to need the following hardware. Two step washers or shoulder washers, these are included in the kit and the uh, two uh, larger bolts that are also included in the kit. We also include a sticky foam pad which uh, gets applied to the underside of the base of the landing gear support section. Once the screws and uh, step washers are attached to the, uh, to the base and to the MCPX helicopter. We'll do that next. Okay, the uh, Landing gear has been installed to the MCPX uh, mainframe here. These are the step washers that I mentioned before included in the kit. You're going to need those as spacers. You're going to need that to provide the correct spacing between the bottom of the uh, frame to the uh, landing gear support uh, base, which is the, that part there. This uh, assembly gets attached with the uh, two uh, bolts. Install one of the bolts at the rear hole and use the front one at the slotted section. Gently screw those bolts into the, the frame of the MCPX for a snug and uh, square assembly. The boom support gets attached by simply clipping or snapping on the horizontal fin with a slotted plastic part onto the boom. Do this gently and straight like that. The vertical fin also is snapped in place at the rear of the boom. And this is the reason why during the installation of this part to the vertical fin, I mentioned that this should align with the front. You need this much room here. It's not critical, but you need a little gap here so that when this part is installed onto the boom, it has a flat section that sits against the square the square section of the uh, tail uh, motor bracket and that, that provides vertical stability so it doesn't allow this to pivot make sure that that's placed all the way against and if you find that's a little bit loose, you can always take this part here and take your small pliers and gently close that part a little bit more and snap it back in place. Now you don't want to be doing this too much, snapping it on, off, on and off because you're going to risk wearing out that part. Once that's there, leave it in place. And that's how that's done. So this completes the assembly of the uh, landing gear boom support and snap-on horizontal and vertical fins to the MCPX helicopter. Now I did not mention the uh, removal of the landing gear of the MCPX. That should be very easy and very obvious. Uh, you simply just uh, disconnect the, land the complete landing gear from the MCPX helicopter before doing this. Now, once this is done, what you want to do is you want to apply the pad that is also supplied in the kit. This is a foamy sticky pad and you want to cover the, that section there. And what this does is basically it provides for a, um, a much nicer base for the battery to slide back and forth to sit on and it also provides the correct tension up and down for the for the for the battery 
and also feels quite nice when you have to move the battery and it sits quite snug there it's not really hard but it's snug enough to maintain the battery in place through uh, uh, through uh, the, the flying of the helicopter you know, if you fly 3D you're gonna be throwing this helicopter around you want that to be very uh, very snug very secure and this provides that feature it also provides you with a much easier way to install the battery uh, the original stock slotted bracket that is used for the battery is okay but I found that this this particular feature they were, were in, uh, reintroducing into these uh, frames is a much uh, much, much, much better uh, setup in my opinion so that's the way that, that gets done and the battery of course gets uh, connected through the back you can route the wires as we're doing it here make sure that it doesn't engage with the uh, the gears so that uh, you don't wear out those wires or ruin them and just simply connect that when you're ready to fly all right so that completes that assembly